Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you six ways to hide lighting in nature in Minecraft. So I'm just going to get right into it. So the first way to hide lighting in nature is by using carpets. So you could use torches, jack-o'-lanterns, and glowstone or any other light source, but these are the main ones. And you could use these underneath carpets to hide the light source. So for example, you could use green carpet to hide um, lighting to blend in with grass, or you could use brown carpets to blend in with logs or maybe dirt if you have a dirt path and you can use light gray carpets to blend in with stone so this is really useful because you could put it anywhere and it only takes up two blocks of space and one of them is the floor block so it doesn't even matter and this is probably the simplest uh, way to hide lighting in nature so the second way is by hiding the light in a nook or like cranny kind of thing where you wouldn't be able to see normally so this uh, small little cave is being lit up through this hole here and this strategy of hiding light inside of holes that you can't see normally works really well in caves where it's not abnormal to see a hole here so uh, what I did was I just dug two up through the ceiling and then I dug into the side by one and hit a torch in the side because that takes up less space than a jack-o'-lantern and I do recommend using a torch for this because it takes up less space and you won't be able to see it from all angles. So if I used a jack-o'-lantern inside of this hole, see the torch is right here. If I used a jack-o'-lantern here instead, you would be able to see it right there. But if I use a torch, you can't actually see it because it only takes up the left side of the block. So this is really useful mainly in caves. Now the third way to hide lighting in nature is using pistons so pistons have this stone texture on the bottom and this is really useful especially in caves so all you have to do is put your light source glowstone jack-o'-lanterns or torches those are the main ones just hide them underneath and the stone texture can hide it you can also put it on a wall so you can just hide it for example if this is a wall you can just hide the you can hide it behind but I find it better to hide the lighting in the floor and then put a pressure plate on top of it. But if you do want to put a pressure plate to hide it and make it blend in with stone for like a cave floor or something like that, make sure you don't use a jack-o'-lantern. Make sure you use a solid block like glowstone because if you step on the stone pressure plate when there's a jack-o'-lantern there, the jack-o'-lantern is just going to get crushed because pumpkins get crushed under pistons but glowstone won't. And the reason this works is because pistons are considered a transparent block which means that light is able to flow freely through them even though they look like a full block. Okay now the next way to hide lighting in nature is by hiding it in leaves and bushes. So all you have to do is find or make a bush or tree and hide glowstone preferably glowstone or jack-o'-lanterns inside of it and you won't be able to use torches inside of a tree so the best way to do it in a bush is to dig one down below the ground and then put the glowstone there so that you can't just see it on the surface level because if you put it right here it's really easy to see from the surface so it's better to drop it down one so it's uh, more concealed now the fifth way to hide lighting in nature is by using glass. So you could use glass with a hidden light source right here such as glowstone or a jack-o'-lantern or a torch and you can just hide this in like a grass field. So it might look kind of obvious but then if you take grass and you surround it it starts to disappear behind all the grass especially when you don't walk right up to it. And the way you do this is really simple just take glass and a light source and dig two down into a field dig one to the side and then one more diagonally and just put your light source there and preferably you want the light source um, the opposite direction of where most people will be facing so if they're facing this way then you want the light source on the opposite side so that they can't see it now the last way to hide lighting lighting in nature is by using trap doors mainly the spruce trap doors which look like um, natural the closest to natural wood so you could hide this in the walls or on the floor. So for example, if you have a tree stump like this, you could just hide the uh, lighting underneath a trap door like this. 
and this blends in really well with the logs and you could also use this in combination with a brown carpet and it'll look like some roots that are just stuck inside of the ground. So I have two setups here so the first one's a cave the second one's a tree and a little field. So I'll show you all the lighting that's hidden here. The first one is light gray carpet here which is just hiding a jack-o-lantern underneath the ground here. Then the next one is hidden up here. There's a torch which is inside of a little nook that you wouldn't be able to see the torch from. I'm at. And then there's also hidden lighting here with a jack-o-lantern underneath. So if you want to use a jack-o-lantern because you don't have access to the nether and glowstone and you want to use the piston with the pressure plate, all you have to do is make sure that you can't accidentally step on it by putting a something like a slab here. Other th otherwise you want to put glowstone so that you don't accidentally crush the jack-o-lantern. Now moving on to this one, this one has a lot more. So in the grass field I hid the, the, glass, the glass block with the jack-o-lantern just to hide lighting in the field and also I use carpet. So this one isn't as good because the green carpet doesn't really match the grass well but it, it does hide itself pretty well behind the grass. Then with the tree there is some hidden light underneath the carpet and also underneath the trapdoor. I find the trapdoor better because the color matches closer to the um, closer to the brown carpet. I'm mean, closer to the logs than the brown carpet. And then inside of the tree there's also some a piece of glowstone right there. And that's just hidden in there. You could kind of see it from the bottom but it just looks kind of cool like a little glow coming out from the tree. And the last hidden source is right in there. It's just another piece of glowstone inside of the bush one block down, which you could you really can't see unless you stand on inside like on the bush. But anyway, those were the six main ways to hide lighting in nature in Minecraft. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful.